All right, I'm making the video for Loki, a resource video for Thai. Um, I believe he's going to be making a trip to Thailand uh, sometime soon. So I'd like to uh, show him all the resources that I have for Thai and anyone else who's interested in learning this language. So let's go through all the courses I have first. I have spoken world living language. This comes with the audio CDs. Thai phrase book. Thai to English dictionary. From Pai Boom Publishing. And uh, we have the language slash 30 phrase book. Thai. And I have colloquial Thai. And I have Teach Yourself Thai. And I have Asimil Thai Introduction. And we have Speak Like a Thai. Volume 2, Speak Like a Thai. This is the slang, Thai slang and idioms. Thai proverbs and sayings. And then Contemporary Thai Expressions. right so those are all the resources I have for Thai um, I have the FLR course for it as well I'm gonna to have to use the Camtasia to go through that and show you how that looks and explain more in detail about the program so um, I guess right now I'll talk about the pros and cons of each of these courses um, depending on your situation what you actually plan to do with the language now if you're just a traveler, you're just going overseas just for a couple weeks or so like that, you're not really spending that much time over there, then you may want to use resources that will um, allow you to learn uh, words and phrases, um, you know, on hand, okay? Um, you don't necessarily need to listen as much to the language, uh, immerse yourself, you just need to learn something quickly on the spot. So, um... Teachers or uh, Aussie Mill, I wouldn't really recommend. If you're not, like I said, if you're not going to spend that much time in the country, I wouldn't really recommend getting this course um, because this is more for people who are serious and they're really um, trying to dive in the language, um, immerse themselves in it, and really get the pronunciation down, the tones, the accent, and whatnot. This is you don't want to. This course isn't for you if you're just a traveler. Okay, so. I see me as out of the question, but if you are a person who, who who is wanting to really get into language, then you may want to check that out. I mean, there are some um, drawbacks of the course, but it's it's still very good for the Thai language. Same with Teach Yourself. Okay, I wouldn't really recommend it um, unless you want to extract certain things from the book, you know, vocabulary and whatnot. But you don't need this as a as a uh, traveler. All right. Uh, colloquial same deal here if you're traveling you probably won't need to use this course um, of course if you're a traveler who I mean even if you're just spending a short period of time over there but you really want to get into the language you can get the course but if you're just looking to uh, just learn something to use while you're over there then that course may not be for you language slash 30 um, if you're a traveler, you just want to spend a short time in the country, then yes, you definitely want to try this out. Why? Because it's not really a formal course. It's basically a book with uh, a lot of um, phrases. My name is, you're welcome, thank you very much, are you sure? You got your salutations, everyday expressions. Uh, then they give you the pronunciation. So, highly recommend it for those of you who are just traveling, spending short time in the country. This is easy access to commonly used phrases that you will need in the country. So, very useful. It comes with audio. This is actually, um, a long time ago, they used to just have the cassette. But here you have it. So, Language Slash 30 is definitely... Uh, 
a good resource to use if you're just going to be in the country for a short period of time. Uh, Three-way Thai English, Thai script, Thai sound, Thai English dictionary. I would say it's useful. You could use this. Um, it's always good to have any type of um, dictionary when you're traveling abroad. So that's that. Definitely you want to look into that. And again, we have a Thai phrase book. Will be very useful for your trip. They include the script and everything. If you know about phrase books, no need for me to go into depth in this video. So, Thai phrase book. Spoken world is another form of course, like uh, colloquial Thai, Asi Mill Thai, and Teach Yourself Thai. Same deal. You see these form of course. Um, if you're going to be doing traveling and not really trying to get into the language then you may not find this course useful unless you want to extract some things out of the course of, uh, of course so these here um, these can be pretty fun like if you're a traveler I mean you want to have some fun you learn some uh, uh, Thai expressions funny expressions you can you know you can pick this up volume one speak like a Thai it's basically a phrase book if it's a phrase book but it very, well, very useful proverbs and, and idioms very useful so I would definitely recommend this for those of you who are just traveling to the country and it comes with audio you can listen to okay that's that and uh, these other ones are pretty much the same they're just the content is just a little different the first one I showed you was like Thai expressions and here we have Thai proverbs and sayings and then here we have Thai slang and idioms so if you like like myself if you really like to learn these expressions to make the natives laugh then you may want to look into those courses so these are all the courses I have for Thai um, I'm going to make a second part of the video to show you introduce in, introduce a uh, website where they have a very useful online Thai dictionary very very useful and to show you my very own course, the FLR Thai. All right, for the Thai slash language dot com dictionary, um, I find this I find this dictionary very 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 useful. Uh, this is actually one of the first resources I started to use when I first started learning Thai. Um, you post basically you can post anything in Thai here, or anything in English, and it will look it up. So let's say travel. You want to look up travel. They bring it to this page, give you the definition of travel. <clears throat> See travel and tourism. Now, not all the time, but they will give you the audio to listen to, which is a great thing. And they give you. They also give you. Oh, what happened? They give you a picture of the vocabulary, and then you press the, okay, I don't have it set up to play, but you press that and they'll uh, pronounce the word for you. So vice versa, English you or Thai, if there's a Thai word you saw or whatever, and you just wanted to, you want to know what it meant, you just type, you just copy and paste it in here, and then they'll give you the translation. So, okay, like, uh, let's see, I was looking for something to, if I want to copy and paste, uh, that's going to be difficult. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to do it there, but, um, yeah, very useful. Uh, what happened? Ooh, what happened to it? Oh, I think it, because I clicked on that word. Yeah, so, yeah, if you, if you don't want to purchase a, you know a physical dictionary you want to you know you got too much stuff you carry and then you may want to look into this dictionary here very very useful so what else do I need to show you they have lessons I haven't used this for a very long time Foreign Service Institute lessons wow yeah hmm they got a lot of interesting stuff here listening exercises demonstration of the speed of speaking a sentence Signs in Thailand, categories, 
That's awesome. Resources. Books read book reviews. Yeah, I haven't really used this site for for a long time. And uh never really got a chance to come and look at this stuff here. Book reviews, download links, recommended travel. Yeah. Book reviews. Yeah, so definitely check this uh definitely check this site out. Um if you're interested in learning Thai, you have a lot of useful material here. Uh mainly for the dictionary, but as you guys can see here, they have some other books available. But these seems to be more um a lot of them that are in Thai are more advanced. So but um yeah, that's the website. So hope you guys like it and uh let me know if you have any questions about anything. Thanks for viewing. All right, so first of all, let me show you the FLR course for Thai. So we have level one, level two. So let's look at level one first. Now, if you're a traveler or even a learner who's just um, really wanting to sit down and get get into the language, this course will work for either or, okay? Um, very, very useful for traveling, especially because it's basically um, you have your questions and answers like a phrase book. Uh, but what sets this apart from a, a traditional phrase book is I actually give you instructions and show you exactly how you need to put sentences together and whatnot. So for level one, you will get this video here. This is an instructional video where I go into depth on how you need to um, utilize the first level how to put sentences together and all that good stuff all right so that's the instructional video then you have what is this if Thai English version these are just yeah, English translation then you have the Thai translation here okay and like I said you can you have your questions and answers all the way to the bottom to your keywords all your keywords here that you will need to use with these questions and answers manip to manipulate the sentences and here are some samples and you have your, intro your introduction now the drawback of this FLR course in terms of Thai is there isn't any like pronunciation guide as far as how to enunciate the letters um, that's the only problem with this so um, what you will probably have to do if you decide to use the course it has audio you can listen to the audio um, you may have to just copy and paste this and put it into Google Translate to get the actual romanization to see how these letters are read okay um, if you're if you're not a traveler you're really trying to learn a language then you can obviously take your time and you can go through um, use a different course that has um, that has the actual romanization or you can just do what I just told you to do uh, copy and paste to the uh, Google Translate to get the romanization but this is very useful um, and guaranteed if you follow the if you follow this course um, you you won't go wrong with any type of communication with a native speaker alright uh, so that's level one let's see level two they actually should have a PDF file it's not there uh, let's see level two so again level two you have your instructional video on what you need to do then you have the audio these are all audio files for all the readings there are a total of eight readings as you can see um, I'll show you what it looks like so this is the first reading and here's the translation and tie and again you have the audio for all of this reading two so it is very very important if you get this it is very very important to have the instructional video otherwise you wouldn't have any idea on how to I mean they're just readings you wouldn't know what to do with with the readings so um, keep that in mind the instructional videos are very very um, important to, to watch uh, before even starting the course so that is level two 
Um, yeah, I think that's it. So, oh, another thing I should mention about the the um, the level two instructions. When you watch that video, the cool thing about it is you can apply it to any type of uh, course that has dialogues. It applies to anything. The same concept. So, that's another plus of um, of the course. So yeah, I'm going to show you this website where they um, have an online Thai dictionary. And that will wrap up this video. So I will see you here in a bit.